Howdy folks, Jay Boone down here at Emerald City Guitars and today I have a pick of the day for you all. Today I have something very unique and something very close to my heart. This is what we call a Cooter Caster. Now I first ran into the Cooter Caster guitar, well, first time I saw one was in the hands of Rye Cooter and Rye would take guitar parts, pretty much a Strat neck and a Strat body, and then he would go and get the pickups out of old Valco, lap steel, Supros, Oahus, whatever, the really high powered pickup that you see there. And then he'd grab the gold foil Tysco pickups and use those as well. Specifically the gold foil in the neck and the more aggressive Supro slash Oahu pickups from lap steels in the bridge position. I ran into a guy really in the early days when I opened my shop back in the mid 90s, a guy named Dave Hill, who was a legend, a good old Houston boy who lived out here in the Northwest for a while. And, and Dave was not only a fine slide player and a pretty much stalker of Ry Cooter, but Dave also was a great guitar tech and just knew tons of stuff about old gear and learned a lot from Dave Hill. Rest in peace, Dave, I miss you, brother. But Dave was putting together back in the mid 90s, these what he called Cooter casters, and they were basically as close as he could get to Ry Cooter's guitar. And I used to buy those guitars from him when he built them, and probably 20 or 30 of them passed through our shop. I was really into them. Really a great slide guitar with that real aggressive bridge pickup sound, and then the more glassy, kind of soupier sound of that, that uh, gold foil in the neck. So I've seen a few incarnations of the Cooter Casters over the years. A lot of guys started making them themselves and you'd run across them. This one came in, I was really excited to see it. it came from an old buddy of mine out here in the Seattle area, Timmy Tone, we call him. A uh, purveyor of fine tone and exciting, cool guitars and amps. So Timmy dropped this off. I ended up finagling a deal from him and buying it from him because I had to have it in the shop. And here it is, right here today. So he's had it for some years, a Lawler, pickup here and a Lawler pickup here. So Jason Lawler, fine pickup builder that we all know and love, came out with his gold foil style pickup several years ago, great pickups. And he also came out with the, the old Valco lap steel pickup too. So two really high quality Lawler pickups in there that replicate as good or even better as the original ones. And they sound awesome in this guitar. This is an old walnut body that I figure is probably from Warmoth and then a really nice neck here with a nice slab of rosewood on there. You can even see the bird's eye on that headstock there. Man, this guitar doesn't disappoint, man. Just a hot rod with a volume control and a blend control for those two pickups. So it kind of indents in the middle when they're both on, and then you can sweep it up to the, the north pickup there if you want. No selector switch, nothing here. I really dig that pit guard too, man. It really matches that walnut body nice. If you can see it there, it's like a strangely kind of brownish pearloid type pick guard, man, it looks really, really cool on this guitar. This guitar's pretty lightweight too, man, with all that big pickups and hardware on there, man. It's a lightweight guitar and it's a very resonant guitar. It sounds really, really great. You know, you don't have to just play slide on this guitar, but that's where it really shines, man. And so we got the action set up a little higher than normal on this with some heavier gauge strings and should sound fantastic, man, in Carl's hands. So, Carl was a little apprehensive. He says, I'm not right Cooter, but I'll try. So he did a fine job though. And today he was running it through this. I just got this in, man, this pre-owned Benson head and cab. It's hard to get anything Benson right now. So I was really jacked about getting this in here. This is their, the 20 watt Monarch head, no reverb. So it's really a spunky amp, man. Sounds fantastic through this Benson 112 cab. So without further delay, take it away, Carl Vandervelden.
So there you have it, folks. My pick of the day, a really cool old Cooter caster here with a walnut body loaded up with Lawler pickups through this pre-owned Benson Monarch head and cab. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you all next time.